Welcome to Earlier Bird Picker. My name is Rafa. I'm a reseller and I resell on eBay, Facebook Marketplace, Amazon, Depop, and actually I'm now going to resell on the Real Real. And so five platforms so far. I'm trying to keep up with all of them. This is a what sold video. Let's get into today's sales. I sold, uh, I think, eight things on eBay and one on Facebook Marketplace. If you don't know, um, if you part out uh, vacuum items or kitchen items, things like that, you can get pretty good money. I found this Goodwill at Goodwill. It's a Hoover hose with attachment. Um, I paid three bucks for it and it sold for 20 plus shipping. Recently, I've purchased two uh, vintage hat lots, uh, mostly sports teams. This is San Francisco that sold. This hat I paid five bucks for and sold for 25 plus shipping. Another hat, uh, I flipped my five dollars invested into this in this one into 20 bucks plus shipping. These are vintage Christmas paper plates that I got at a garage sale. The brand on them is Denison. Um, the only sold comps I could find were for Halloween plates. I found no Christmas plates. I was hoping that mine being the only one would sell for more. Um, I flipped my three bucks into 15 plus shipping. This is the worst profit one. Um, this is the Brooks Pure Grit Trail Running Shoe. They were in awesome condition. I paid 13 for these at Goodwill and they sold for $15. I had them priced a lot higher and I just kept bringing the price down. Just uh, sometimes you just got to realize something's a bad buy and you just got to price it so you can get it out of your store. Just got these four balls. They're exercise weighted balls, two pounds each. Um, I paid $4 for all of them. So a dollar a piece. They sold for 16 plus shipping. Going to throw this in a medium flat rate box. That's the easiest way to ship weights that will fit in a smaller box. This is a super nice men's Patagonia. Uh, it's called the Better Sweater Vest. It was in mint condition. I was surprised it didn't sell faster. The only thing, probably reason why, it's a men's small, which is you just don't see a whole lot of small men, <laughs> men small, you know. And so anyway, I paid six bucks for this at Goodwill. Flip my six into 45 plus shipping. Have a set of Malt B uh, golf irons. I picked these up just yesterday at a garage sale, paid a dollar a piece for them, so five bucks total. Flip my five into 50 plus shipping. Last one, this is an Osprey uh, backpack. There's the brand on it, it's a major bolo brand. I paid four bucks for this at a garage sale, mint condition, sold for 50 plus shipping on the, on Facebook Marketplace. Had another sale come through on eBay. I sold this Geo Safari uh, laptop. It's like a kid's laptop. It comes with, well, this one comes with 62 cards in it. You, you take the card and put it here and put in the code and it knows what cards you're using. And it's kind of like, it's kind of like an it's kind of like educational games. I don't know. I think it's kind of cool. Um, anyway, I paid three bucks for this out of your garage sale. I got two of them, three each, and I flipped my three dollars into thirty five plus shipping. Had one more sale come through on Amazon. It's this book about wood. I paid eighty three cents for it, and it sold for thirty bucks plus shipping. I'm super happy with my sales today. Um, this has probably been my largest sales day in quite a while. That book about wood uh, put me over the $300 sales mark today. My goal, since I'm just doing this on a part-time basis, I have, it's supposed to be a full-time job. I kind of just work at it part-time right now. But anyway, I'm doing reselling as a part-time hobby type thing. My goal is only 100 bucks a day, and that's still pretty good. And so to make 300, I'm super happy. It's still Monday night and the sales just keep coming in, which is awesome. These are men's Nike Jordans. Um, these took a little while to sell. I got these at a garage sale, maybe like two or three months ago. And I'm surprised it took so long to sell. They were in excellent condition, probably like an eight out of 10. And I paid 10 bucks for them and they sold for 30 plus shipping. Still having sales come through. I sold these cap weights. Two 2.5 pounds and two five pounds. Um, weights are selling really, really fast because of COVID. People not want to go to gyms. These I knew would sell really fast. I just listed, listed these tonight and they sold within just a couple hours because um, when you're shipping weights, it's expensive for the shipping. And so you put them in a f flat rate medium box if they're this shape. And so I knew that these bundled up together would sell really fast. I, I've had these in my garage for years and years. I was cleaning the garage, trying to make more room for my inventory. So I have no idea what I had invested in them. They sold for $40 with free shipping. It's gonna cost about $13 
to pay for the shipping. So I'll net like 27 bucks. There'll still be fees and everything, but um, 27 bucks before fees. It's Tuesday afternoon. Let me show you my e sales from eBay and Amazon. Sold this baseball uh, price guide book. I don't really know what it is, but it's about baseball. Um, this was one of my mom's picks, paid a buck and flipped it into 15 plus shipping. Picked up more than a dozen of these Marlboro uh, Chuck Wagon cooking recipe little like pamphlet books at a garage sale and I paid five bucks for all of them. I had 33 cents into this one, sold for $8 plus shipping. Sold this Pyrex Portables, uh, like insulated bag. You, you know, obviously put your Pyrex in here and take it somewhere. Um, I have a dollar into this one. I flipped it into eight. I originally had this price for higher. Cause my goal is $10 profit or more on anything I sell. It didn't sell for that. And so lowered the price. I saw it after I listed this one this summer or maybe like early fall, I kept seeing these over and over and over again at garage sales. And I said, until this one sells, I'm not allowed to pick up anymore. I don't know if I'd pick this up again. Like I said, I like making 10 bucks plus, but this was super easy to list. It's easy to ship, just throw it in a poly bag. Um, but anyway, yeah, gonna make probably like five bucks on it after fees. This is an Abercrombie and Fitch jacket. I paid up for this thing. I paid $13 at Goodwill and it sold for 29 plus shipping. I definitely had it priced a lot higher and then I just kept coming down on the price. Um, but yeah, I made my $10 profit on it at least, so that's good. This is a vintage hat that I picked up last weekend in my vintage hat lot. I paid $2.50 for this hat. It is a vintage Trans Am, like Pontiac Trans Am, sold for 20 bucks plus shipping. Best sale of the day so far. This was a pair of boots I took a chance on at Goodwill. Um, they're really nice boots. The brand is Nakona, I think, on them. Pretty good condition. Why they were kind of risky is they have the TCU, like Texas Christian University uh, logo or, uh, you know, like letters and logo on them and right there also. And so I just happened to hope that somebody from that university in this particular size would want this pair of boots. I didn't sit on them as long as I thought I was going to. They sold for 40 bucks plus shipping um, and I only paid 15. So I'm really happy with this one. One tip if you're shipping boots like this, um, in the summertime, stock up on um, these pool noodles. You can use pool noodles for several different shipping things. Like you can split them in half and put them on the corner of something or like the edge if you're wanting to protect the edge of something. I like putting them in boots because it helps them hold their form. And so I think, you know, when the customer gets that and they see you put that in there to help hold their shape, they probably appreciate that. So those are my sales so far today. I had two more hat orders uh, come in. This one sold on eBay. It's a New York Mets hat. I took a best offer of 10 bucks. I don't really know why I accepted that. Um, I think I should have stuck at 15. And I had 250 into this one, so I flipped my 250 into 10. This one is a local minor league uh, team to Tulsa and Tulsa Drillers hat. I had three of these. I only paid 17 cents for this hat. Flip my 17 cents into 10 plus shipping on Facebook Marketplace. Several more orders came through on eBay. Let me show you what sold. First up is this vintage 76ers hat. Paid 250 and I flipped my 250 into 15 plus shipping. Oakland A's vintage hat. Uh, flip my 250 invested into 25 plus shipping. This hat I've had like four of now, I think. And this is either like the third or the fourth one to sell. This one has been by far the best seller so far. So I'm gonna keep an eye out for these in the future. Last up are these Herman Survivor uh, Steel Toe Work Boots. I got these at a garage sale on Thursday last week. I paid five bucks for them. I flipped my five into 32 plus shipping. This vintage hat buy, the two hat buys that I did was definitely worth it. I've already more than a hundred bucks made back my money from the whole deal. And so everything from now on is just profit. I still have a ton of hats left to sell. Just sold this Detroit Pistons hat. Paid $2.50 for this hat, flipped it into $15 plus shipping on eBay. I'm on my way to go do a Facebook Marketplace meetup. I was cleaning out my garage to try to make more room for reselling stuff. I went through a phase where I just bought like nearly every tool they had uh, at Harbor Freight and Lowe's. I don't really know why. I just wanted tools. Uh, but I have this Pittsburgh two-ton jack. 
I don't even know how to use the jack. And so I'm getting rid of this thing. It retails for 30. I'm selling it for 15 on Facebook Marketplace. Got my 15 bucks for the Pittsburgh two-ton jack. The guy wanted to know that it worked well, so he actually used it right there in the parking lot, jacked his truck up. It worked. It's Wednesday before Thanksgiving, and I had pretty good sales today. I sold uh, things on three of the platforms that I sell on, Amazon, Facebook Marketplace, and eBay. Um, I've been listing a whole lot more, and so I think that's a big reason why my sales are up. Plus, it's Q4, and so the combination of the two, I've been having awesome sales days. Let me show you what sold today. Just picked up this book at a, like a garage slash estate sale from this last weekend. Um, in my last video where I picked this book up, I was going over sales rank. This book was ranked 386,000 which um, Amazon says for a book ranked um, uh, for a book ranked a million, that book has sold once in the last 10 days. And so I think when I said that, it might have even been this book, I said, based on this being 386,000 sales rank, this should probably sell this week. And so that's not a guarantee because maybe, you know, if you list this in good, maybe someone wants to buy the book in very good condition or what have you. But my strategy on Amazon with books is I get my books at such a cheap rate. I always get them for like a dollar or two or less. Um, I try to price mine basically at the lowest price of anyone on Amazon. And so hopefully mine will sell. Anyway, um, I paid a dollar for this book and it sold for 20 bucks plus shipping and it sold in three or four days. Next are my eBay sales. So sold another one of these Marlboro uh, Chuck Wagon cooking recipe books. Um, I think just based on this is maybe like the second or third one on the same video that has sold. I really think that somehow the algorithm on eBay, when something of yours sells and you have multiple, maybe somehow it ranks it higher in the search engine. I don't really know, but it's really odd that I'm selling a lot of these now. I, ha I think I have them listed at 10 bucks. I'm taking offers for them um, because I have so many. I had 33 cents invested in this. This one's sold for seven plus shipping. I am selling this, I'm shipping this with media mail. What you need to know if you're a reseller and new to reselling, if you ship something media mail, the United States Post Office has the authority to open media mail and inspect it and make sure what you're really sending is media mail and it can't have any advertising. I asked um, the our local post or the worker at my post office, I said, this is kind of weird because it's a recipe cookbook um, pamphlet type thing, but it's Marlboro branded. And so I don't want them to inspect this and see it as advertising. He said he thinks I'm okay to ship it media mail, but um, I guess I'll find out if I get charged more for it later on from eBay. Just picked this up yesterday at a, the new um, thrift store that I went to. This is an OEM Toro leaf bag in new condition. You could obviously tell it's new because like no leaves were inside. Paid three bucks, uh, took an offer for 15 plus shipping. I already got this one packaged up because I had to know how much it was gonna weigh. Um, this is an Apple, vintage Apple keyboard and mouse, like an old school looking one, wired, obviously. Um, I paid 83 cents for it and it sold for 21 plus shipping. Just picked up this at a garage sale last week. It's a Polar hat, uh, snapback I'm pretty sure. Anyway, um, I paid, picked it up for 50 cents and it flipped that into 15 plus shipping. Sold this uh, like close to vintage, women's oakley like multi-color kind of like geometric type design ski jacket i had nine dollars into this and i flipped my nine into 40 plus shipping those were my sales from ebay next i had something sell on facebook marketplace um this was a new tag shirt that i got from goodwill the brand on it is mckenna quinn and i looked it up and it looked like it was like a women's hunting shirt um kind of like designer looking it retailed for close to 200 bucks and like i said this is brand new with tags I think I had it listed for 50 bucks or right around there. Someone sent me an offer, we negotiated, settled on $40 plus shipping. So I flipped my 550 into 40 bucks. Another pretty good sale just came through on eBay. These are Nike Kobe Mambas, um, like basketball shoes. Paid 10 bucks for them and they sold for 50 plus shipping. This is the second Geo Safari laptop it, that sold this week. I had $3 into this one. And I flipped my $3 into 30 plus shipping. Happy Thanksgiving, it's Thanksgiving day, and I thought I'd show you my sales. Had four on eBay and two on Amazon. These were my worst profitable flip, least profitable, I guess. Um, these were Vans, um, you can kind of see in like an Aztec fabric type color. I thought they were really cool. I don't have a note on these saying how much I paid for them, but I'm guessing it was between like 
five to eight bucks and they only sold for nine and so basically i'm just getting my money back on these maybe losing a little bit of money but i've had them for a lot of months and so i was ready just to move them on this is a vintage adidas like windbreaker jacket um i paid two bucks for it and i flipped it into seven plus shipping it turns out when i got it home and really looked it over it was not in very good condition and so that's why the low sales price on this one i picked an estate sale of an artist last weekend um i scanned a lot of different books picked up but just like nine i think uh, this book I got for a dollar and it sold for 20 plus shipping on Amazon. This was a really good deal. I got this uh, Polo Ralph Lauren long sleeve shirt. It's still new uh, with tags, which was awesome. I only paid $5.50 for it at Goodwill and I sold it for 30 plus shipping. This was one of my mom's awesome picks. Um, these are brand new without the box, keen. Pretty sure they're steel toed uh, boots. They took a little while to sell because they're size seven. So that's a pretty small men's size, but they did sell, uh, paid five bucks for this and flip five into 40 plus shipping super happy to see this amazon book sale come through this was the best flip of the day paid a dollar for this book and flipped it into 80 plus shipping it's some book about uh role playing i don't have a clue all i know is i scanned it and it was worth good money and it sold